Assessment of gestational age with sonography is a critical element of evaluating a pregnant woman in any healthcare setting. Providing care for pregnant women should be comfortable using basic sonographic techniques to determine the gestational age of a fetus, which helps guide the care of both the fetus and the pregnant woman. Sonography can be used at different levels of gestational development to determine the age of the growing fetus, care of the woman and fetus, and may affect dates that determine the viability of the fetus, expected delivery date, and appropriate growth rate. The most accurate method to determine gestational age is during weeks 8 through 12, when the crown rump length can be determined and the fetus is in its greatest and most consistent rate of growth. Earlier and later developmental time periods may also remain useful in the appropriate clinical context to confirm dates. Determining gestational age is indicated in any pregnant female with an unknown date of the last menstrual cycle to confirm estimated dates or any patient with unknown dates of gestational age. There are three identifiable structures on ultrasound that appear sequentially during the first trimester, the gestational sac, the yolk sac, and the embryonic pole. The gestational sac appears approximately 30 days following the beginning of the last menstrual cycle. It appears as a small, hypoechoic structure near the fundus of the uterus. The gestational sac represents the chorionic sac and grows approximately 1 mm per day after it becomes visible. Appearing within the gestational sac, the yolk sac is a small, circular, hyperechoic ring that appears at about day 35 or between weeks 5 and 6, counted from the beginning of the last menstrual cycle. The yolk sac also grows at about 1 mm per day until about 9 weeks, when it begins to regress. The yolk sac is less useful in determining gestational age. The embryonic pole first appears as a small linear structure congruent with the yolk sac, giving the appearance of a signet ring. This embryonic pole is the first structure that can be measured to obtain the crown rump length and gives an accurate date to the gestational age. The embryonic pole will develop a cephalic and caudal portion that first appears wrapped or bent tightly to the embryo. As these begin to unfold and the limbs appear, the first true crown rump length measurements can be obtained. The differentiation between a fetus and embryo occurs at about nine weeks when organogenesis has completed and the developing fetus focuses on maturation and further development of existing structures.